All right, we're going to write this system of equations as an augmented matrix and then solve for x and y. All right, so once again, I'm going to box this in. That will tell me the values that I need to put into the matrix. So from the x column, I have 4 and 2, 4. And from the y column, I have a negative 7 and a 5. And from the answers here, I've got 29 and 11. Negative 11, sorry. So from here, once again, uh, just using the process of elimination, in order to get a zero right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take row 2 and multiply it by a negative 2, okay? What that does is in my new matrix, which did not change row 1, uh, I'm just going to have a negative 4 here, which will allow me to add those two together and then I can eliminate that value to get the zero where I want it, okay? So negative 2 times 2, that's the negative 4 there. Negative 2 times 5, that's negative 10. And then finally, negative 2 times the negative 11 gives me a positive 22. So from here, I would take row 2, and I would add row 1, to it, okay? So that gives me a new matrix here. Notice once again that that did not affect the first row yet. So I have a zero where I want it. Negative seven minus 10 would be a negative 17. And that is equal to 29 plus 22, which is 51. Now, uh, what I would want to do is to get a 1 where that negative 17 is. And to do that, I'm simply going to take row 2, and I'm going to multiply it, or divide it, rather, by a negative 17. You could multiply it by 1 over negative 17. It wouldn't matter. So after this is done, this gives me a 0, a 1, and 51 divided by negative 17. That's going to give me a negative 3 here. So from this equation, we would have y equals negative 3. That's the first part of our answer here, negative 3. And from here, I can start working with uh, the first equation in order to get a 0 right here. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's go ahead and take row 1, right? We're going to add to row 1 from row 2. And notice if I take row 2 and multiply it by 7, or just the 1, if I multiply it by 7 and then add to that negative 7, I'll get the 0 right where I want it to be. So that's what I'm going to do. I got 7 times row 2 plus row 1. So what does that turn out to be? Well, 7 times the 0 plus the 4, that gives us the 4. 7 times the 1 plus the 7, uh, that would give us the 0 that we wanted. 7 times the negative 3 plus 29, and that gives us 8. So just like we did with that second row, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take row 1, and since I want the 4 to be a 1 right here, I'm just going to take it and divide it by 4. And we will have accomplished our goal there. So row 1 divided by 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1, 0 divided by 4 is still 0, and then 8 divided by 4, that's a 2. And this tells us then that x is 2, which we can put in our ordered pair. Now this video is already pretty long, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you guys check this to make sure it's true, and uh, once again to do that, you're just going to rewrite both equations, replace the x's and the y's, and you're going to see if you have a true statement. If it's false, again, somewhere in here we must have made a mistake. But uh, on this one, we haven't. The answer is 2, negative 3. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe for more videos, and good luck on your math, you guys.